Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Champions of Meandir gameplay video series. I'm Alvin, the designer and game director for Champions, and today I'm here with Nick, Kim, and George. If you're new here and want to learn how to play this game, check out our Learn to Play Champions of Meandir video playlist. Link to it will be in the video description. Before we start, we'd like to remind you that we rely on viewers like you to help our channel grow. Liking, subscribing, and sharing are easy and free ways to show your support. If you're interested in joining us for a future episode, feel free to reach out and let us know. You can also leave a comment to help us improve, or to tell us what you'd like to see next. Okay, let's go ahead and introduce the decks we'll be playing today, starting with Nick. All right, I'm playing Harmony, Carefree Idealist. Harmony is so carefree, she just wants to take a day off from all the hustle and bustle, and take a trip to the zoo, see some nice animals, and she's bringing her friends along with her. That is so, so fun. All right, Kim, you're up next. Uh, I'm coming back to my Bailey deck, uh, which I played in our last session. Uh, and this time around, I feel like maybe I brewed it to uh, actually play out maybe a little bit more in my favor. Ooh, okay. Very neat. Next up, we have George. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm running my deck. It's called Cobalt Gems. Uh, it's a mix of green and blue where I'm trying to use the efficiency of the blue to give augmentation to the feed that is... Uh, the green, so that uh, they play into each other. So it's kind of like an earth and water kind of vibe. Very cool. And finally, we have me playing Nile Loyal Protector. My deck is running the Valsasar alignment combination. For those that don't know, Valsasar is a triple aligned combination consisting of purple, blue, and white. This version of the deck is trying to prevent as much attacking as possible because the less danger that's out there, the easier it is for Niall to do his job. And Niall just wants to chill today. He doesn't want to have any trouble from any of y'all. So keep your hands to yourself today, guys. <laughs> and that's it for the intros. Mulligans have been completed. Let's begin the game. So I have one goal. I need to use my chromatic ring so that I am properly aligned and lose my gold and draw one card. And that's all I'm doing for now, passing my turn. Not a bad first turn play. All right, taking my turn. Get my gold. I'll play Wild Path. I'll activate its ability to look at the top card. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I want that. Take my free draw. And for my first turn, I will play a marked map. And I will pass it over to you, Nick. All right, my first turn with my first gold. We'll see what to do with it maybe in a second. We'll start with Verdant Path. Look at the top card of my deck. Seems like a good one. We'll just leave it there. Take a free draw. But it's not playable, so we'll do nothing and pass. Ooh. Uh, I'll begin my turn with a decorated path, looking at the top card of my deck and putting it on the bottom. I'll take my free draw. Uh, then I will play a hidden flower patch and put a counter on it. Pass to you. All right. Not bad. Oh, bad. Uh, now that I'm on two gold, I can utilize. My killer bees that I summon. Scary. Draw a card. Research vessel. I put that into play. I also use my last gold to play intelligence report. <laughs> I am out of gold. Very cool. And moves and options. Your turn, Alvin. All right. Get my gold for turn. Free draw. All right, George. I'm going to play Toll Collector. It's actually not really affecting you right now, so I'm going to hope that you don't attack into it, because right now, the only person it's affecting is actually Kim. So mm. I'm hoping you kind of just see the, the opportunity to slow down your opponents without any real hindrance to you, because I don't think you're activating this anytime soon anyways, right? So I'll just no. put that out there. Let's, let's hope you do the, the no, right that's, thing. No, that's fine. That's wise. All right, all right. Cool, cool. Um, all right, and then let's see. Do I want to get this thing rolling? I think I do. Uh, I'm going to activate this, searching for a location card. The card that I will search for is Quiet Path. I'll play the Quiet Path, activating it to look at the top card is no. Let's put that on the bottom. All right, and then I'll pass it over to you, Nick. All right, I'm going to get things rolling by making some room in my hand, dropping a location to get my free draw in. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. I think I will. Drop another location and oh. abandon my verdant path. Fair. Draw one more. Uh, not, not, didn't find it. So, um, unfortunately, it will go unused and I'll pass the turn. Whoa, oh. two turns without using gold, eh? How come you didn't just reset your hand? 
Uh, oh, I, I forgot about that. <laughs> One of those forgettable roles, too. Can yeah, we get not... a? Can I get a refresher? My ah, yes. Case, Alvin? Okay, yeah, so reset me. Resetting your hand means putting all the cards in your hand on the bottom of your deck, drawing back up to seven, and then shuffling your deck. Now, the reason why you most of the time don't want to use a hand reset is because right after you reset your hand, you have to end the turn. And you cannot use your hand reset if you've played a card, activated an ability, sold an item, abandoned a location, or made an attack. In other Effectively, words... Effectively, instead of taking a turn, you reset your hand. That's right. And so you can still take your free draw and then still have the option to reset your hand, but you cannot do anything else. Fair. Awesome explanation. That sounds like it would be really useful for an early early turn. Yeah, if you if, if after your mulligan your hand is still very, very bad, you can just spend your first turn resetting. That's a, that's an option that's available to you. True. You could even use it twice if you needed to. I have done that before. Done it. Turn one and turn two resetting. That's it is possible. <laughs> My hand is really is decent, so I probably won't need to do it this game, but I have to remember and you guys should remember at home too, reset. Really, yes. really useful tool. Very nice. Kim, page. it's your turn. I'm not going to reset my hand uh, to no. demonstrate, but I'll, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and do my, my difficult turn. One gold to play Intelligence Report. Ooh, nice. that's a big casual card. item. Mm -hmm. Then I will abandon my decorated path to draw a card, and then I'll take my free draw as well. Nice oh, yeah, draw power. And then I will use my final gold on a burn for your uh, pole collector. Oh man. All right. I'm not always the threat. I don't like paying taxes. That's fair. It's technically not a tax, it's a toll. In a way. <laughs> not better. Yeah, not better at all. And I'll pass my turn. It's my turn now. I get three gold and I have a free draw. Since I don't have seven cards in my hand, I'll take that free draw now. Nice. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I play my budget planner. Okay. Play my obstructive roadblock now. Hidden flower patch. Was all this work Probably. to get rid of a toll collector only to be uh, roadblocked? <laughs> yeah, it's unfortunate. And I will pass my turn. All right. Get my gold for turn. Free draw. Okay. Um, I'll take a setup turn. I'll spend three gold to Iron Watcher's Vigilance. And then... Oh, wow. I think that's it. I think I'll pass like that. Simple turn for me. All right. My turn's going to be pretty simple because I just want to keep drawing some cards and I have to make room for that. So we'll play a sort of a mediocre drop Ava out of nowhere. Not really doing much, but uh, it's just a chill day at the zoo. She's just, she's just romping. I'll take my free draw. That get me out of trouble. All right. Okay. And with that, pass. I'll start my turn with a free draw. Not a good day to be a flower patch. No, it is not. <laughs> it is not. Uh, I will Absolutely. play out a Dr. Smashington. Whoa! Uh, that's a scary one. And then I will crack my intelligence report and look Ooh. at everyone's hand. Okay. Oh! Nice. So, look at your hand, George. Don't tell them any of my juicy secrets, Kim. These four well, cards... I will let them know that you have a Become Ferocious in your hand. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Become Ferocious. What about you? Alvin. <laughs> a preacher of love, eh? Oh, no! Of a preacher of love is pretty good against Mufari because he wants to attack. Mm -hmm. No, my antithesis. Uh, and I also don't appreciate your other roadblock. <laughs> oh, jeez, <laughs> It's a no. really bad day to be a flower badge. It's a horrible day to be a flower badge. And what about Nick? What about me? Uh, you see my shame. Yeah, it's not looking great for you. You do have a, a Lorene, but you have no way to play her, so... Oh, uh, I mean, he can just spend four. Yeah, he can just spend four, but... Uh, mm. uh, and then I'll keep all of the other ones uh, in mind for myself. Wonderful, wonderful mm. political play. Yeah. And I will uh, lose uh, my uh, report. Actually, I'll draw a card first. Yeah. Because it's yes, cool. correct. And then I will lose my report. Uh, and I'll just pass the turn, actually. Okay, so we're on turn four. Routine until the end of turn. Cards you play cost one gold less, which is interesting because that means that this diligent farmer only costs one gold. Broken. <laughs> and, if that, and if that's the case, <laughs> why don't I just put a gold in him and get back gold? Wow. I haven't free drawed yet. 
Ah, but what's a free draw when I could put three gold in here? Way to go, research vessel. I play become ferocious on my B killer B. Uh, okay. So it becomes a two two with no abilities. Yes. Well, then I can. I guess I could do right now a little damage to Ava, the unwavering optimist. Fine. If I let her get going, it's too late all the time. Yeah. And I pass my turn to Alvin. Very nice. All right, get my gold for turn. Put a phase counter, free draw. All right, cool. So I'll play this location, selecting purple for its imprint. All right, I'll play obstructive roadblock and then I'll target your research vessel here. So this and this is roadblock one and this and this roadblock two. All right, and then I'll use Iron Watcher's Vigilance to give this, uh, this can't be attacked. All right, you know what? Let's, let's play two history educations. Wow. Yes, sir. It's a lot of education. <laughs> and then we'll, we'll play a training dummy and then Whoa. pass it over to you, Nick. All right. But debating what I should do this turn, but I would just like to get on the board. Finally do something with a mild amount of meaning. We'll play Child of the Wild and use its arrival. Produce a gray wolf token. Cool. First exhibit at the zoo, you're seeing the gray wolf. <laughs> Ooh, ah. Yeah, but we'll, we'll let other Let people see the them. giraffes. <laughs> <laughs> they're, a, they're a bigger creature. Find them later on. Uh, right, passing to you. Okay. I'll start with a free draw. Pay three. There we go. To play Unruly Vandals. No. I'm going to use my remaining gold to put a Dr. Smashington oh. into the hand of these unruly vandals. This is mm. so brutal. All right. Chris Oinkers. And then I'll pass my turn. Okay, my turn. We're at turn five, five gold. I still have the ability of routine until the end of turn. Cards you play cost one less to play. Crazy. And I also have my diligent farmer. Uh, I activate my budget planner and I activate my diligent farmers and i bump myself up to six gold all right potentially scary turn put into play my champion mufari the beast hunter draw my free draw now i put a hidden thicket into play and i play child of the wild for three gold cool gray wolf activated through my child of the wild Yes, using Mufari's ability to give Nick Mufari's Here quarry token. The second exhibit, a Mufari's quarry. So That's cool. unnamed beast, but we'll refer to his his discoverer. <laughs> and all right, George, you're kind of scary. Yeah, not much this can be done this turn. And just in case anyone's wondering and it's frustrated with me, it's like, why'd you do that to your killer bees? My killer bees deadly cannot affect Mufari's immune. So just in case yeah. you're upset, killer bees can't take down Mufari's quarry. George, I do have That's, to correct you. At least you. how I play. Yeah, I do have to correct I... you on one thing, though. If you were to use oh. Become Ferocious on this, then suddenly he would lose immune, and then killer bees would one-shot it. That is very interesting information and data that I will carry forward with me for the rest of my days. You learn something new every day, right? That's really cool. And I will stop right there and pass my turn. That's right. So so you do have to be afraid of deadly in the Mufari deck because someone could just remove the abilities and one shot it. So, all right. That's true. Get my goal for turn, get my counters. So many counters. Uh, I'll take my free draw and then I'll take both of my history education draws. All right. Mm, that's a lot of draw power. Yeah. Let's play Nile. Let's play Creature of Peace for two. I will put the This Can't Be Attacked ability on Preacher of Peace using Iron Watcher's Vigilance. And oh. then I will sell this training dummy to get one gold. And I'll use that gold to activate Nile to put Nile's abilities on this roadblock. So now this roadblock has This Can't Be Taken. And when I begin my turn, score four points. And I'll just abbreviate by saying he's been Niled. Do I want to get greedy and abandon is the question. Uh, I think not. Pass. Alrighty, we'll start turn five with all my gold. Get free draw. There's uh, been absolutely no point gain. I don't think I'm going to be the first to do it, though. I think uh, I think we're going to rely on Unruly Vandals to take care of some of that uh, stuff on Alvin's side. 
I'm so far away, though. I haven't even scored any points. Yeah. I'm just... I don't need to make the attack. Oh, no, it is. Okay, so we'll start with a marked map, and I will immediately use it to fetch a non-unique uh, location card. Let's look at my deck. Probably a white-aligned one. Yeah, probably. Is this Tron? <laughs> Tron? <laughs> I will reveal to you the Statue of the Good King. Cool. He's a good king. He's a good Shuffle, king. lose this. I'm going to play the statue. Uh, so that talks me two gold for the, the use of the item. Yeah, let's, let's just play out Harmony. Finally got to the zoo. She was running a little late, but uh, hippies are like that. So <laughs> They're on their own time. Yeah. I'll use Statue of Good King to give her one more help. Keep her nice and safe. I can make attacks. I gotta be grateful to Mr. George for providing me with this token. But it is a vicious token. And even though it's in the zoo, it, it just hungers. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna make an attack in Nile. Nile? Alright. That. And I think the Grey Wolf will also do that. Aww. Flash, flash. And the child is not so grateful to George. Whoa. To, uh, it's too, the child is too wild. The budget planner is just not... All right. And with those as my actions this turn, I will pass. All right. So since you had zero points, losing losing the one point for each of those attacks was worth it because you, you can't go below zero in this game. Yep, yep. Uh, I have stuff to do on my turn. Yeah, I'll take my free draw for the turn. And then I will play Kazan Freedom Fighter. Yikes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll play a Kalnea, City of Light. Cool. Everyone draw. A everyone card. is going to draw a card, and everyone nice. is a light. Let's go. Just as a little, a little bit of freebie, a little bit of a freebie, uh, Thank and you. then I'm gonna use my remaining gold to play a bomb research. Uh oh. Getting ready. Getting set up. Mm. Uh huh. Getting, getting it all, getting it all out there, mm. uh, and then I will attack my unruly vandals at this guy. No. Right. And my Kazen is going to attack Chromatic. Oh. Come on. Smart. Your aggression on both of these is now unlocked. Yeah, I've, I've procced my aggression. So I'm oh. going to uh, use the routine ability first to destroy this. Ouch. Whoa. Then I'm going to use the aggression ability to destroy this. Wow. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to use this aggression ability to score two points. And since it happened after I've made attacks, I don't lose any points to Preacher of Love. Correct. Nice. And I am going to pass my turn. What a turn. Yeah, what a turn. All right. Well, we are on turn six. I lost all my good stuff. This thing's scary. No one can have items. It's not that scary. <laughs> okay. First things first. I will draw a card for my free draw. My research vessel is now free. I am going to play Kalnea City of Light. Ah. Okay. Oh. Darn. Everyone draws a card again. Correct. Left out. Now I use intelligence report for one. Very cool. Take a look, see. Okay. Well, the only thing I would I feel that is worth sharing is that Alvin does in fact have a keep the peace. That card has three phases of no one can attack Denzians. Four phases. Four of denizens can't attack. The Four phase Denzian can't attack. Okay, but here's the thing. Okay, George, actually, I have one political play because Keep the Peace is going to oh. mess you up really bad. So I, okay. I have a favor to ask of you. How about you attack your B into this, and then I won't play Keep the Peace, and then it will not lock you out of the game. Okay, fair enough. Fair yeah? enough. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Sorry, 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 Kim. Nick, you're up next on the card viewage. Yeah, you might not be happy with what you see in my hand. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I guess if that, all the Mufari's mean... tokens keep coming my way, I you, you can just I won't play keep the peace. You can try removing them. Oh okay. look at that. I think that's a great deal, George. See? I mean he said it Because you got the information from this, you were able to to strike two deals. So right. worth it, I think. Kim, what do you want me to not say? Uh, honestly, Another deal. I, uh, huh? I, I, Everyone has table. had a you shot. Can... I don't yeah, know. Has... No, every... anything's on the table. I don't. You can say whatever you would like to. Okay. Well. Power play. I guess. The... I guess. I will say, Kim's got Blackmore power. Yeah. I will draw my card, and then Actually. I lose this. That card is amazing. I now play, my astute scholar, 
for two cards. Okay, so I have two gold. So I'm going to put one gold here. Okay, so my last gold if, before I start. If you attack yeah. the killer bees into my unruly vandals, you are not going to get any points this game from your Mufari. I am going to make sure it never happens. I have uh, Black Mora powder and I am willing to use Oh, it. Black Mora, I see, I see. All right, you're 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 in quite the bind, George. It's something you've already revealed. Everyone knows about it. That's right. You're in quite the bind, but I'll leave it to you to decide how, how you're going to maneuver around this. Mufari is very political, after all. Well, okay, let me, let me settle some stuff. I'm going to play also my Hidden Waterfall. I'm also going to play my Statue of the Wise Teacher, mm -hmm. giving, give and give it to my Wolfie. Grey Wolf. Wolfie. Play my other research vessel. <laughs> Are any of those a cottage, though? Can you deal with a Black Mora powder? You can probably deal with a Black Mora powder quicker than you can deal with the Keep the Peace. Agreed. And, and you think... are you are guaranteed to score five points this turn because when you do your final attack to remove the Mufari, the trigger will happen first, and you will not end up losing any points. So you will end this end this turn with five points. So you you are making progress if you do keep your original deals. Killer bees, please attack the unruly vandals. I'm so right. sorry, Kim. All right, these trade. I activate Mufari, giving him another Mufari's quarry. Yeah, so my I use my wolf to attack Mufari's quarry, and then I use Mufari himself to ranged because he's ranged, mm -hmm. and not people often forget he's ranged. That's right. To do three damage to Mufari's quarry, making but him hostile. In my zoo. I score five points. Very nice, George. Oh, play. Thank you. And I now pass my turn to Alvin. All right, get my goal for turn. Get all my phase counters. Okay, so yeah, I'll use my free draw. Okay, so I mean, I was going to play Keep the Peace, but George made good on his promise and got rid of the uh, the Vandals. So let's see, I think if that's the case, I will play Chromatic Ring. And I'll play this location. I will have both of these History Educations resolved to draw myself two cards. Uh, I'll drop another location here. I'll play Training Dummy, and then I'll have Iron Watcher's Vigilance activate and give Training Dummy this can't be attacked. And then I'll go ahead and abandon this location to draw a card. And then I will play Nile once again, one, two, three, and attempt to start getting any points at all by activating Nile and giving my Training Dummy the Nile abilities, which is this can't be taken. And when I begin my turn, score four points. All right, and I think that is everything that I can do. Yeah, pass it over to you, Nick. All right, drop a location, free up a space in the hand. I will choose the alignment type white. Ah, so you're an Olsenor combination. Something like that. Take our free draw. And uh, we're also not playing Keep You the Peace. And I feel a little bit bad, because it's going to be a good play. I don't know why that makes me feel bad. But you all knew about this. They were announced a long time ago. So we're going to play Lorene, yep. Safety Inspector. Yes, so I will uh, have Harmony gain me two points. I'm going to have my wolf become ferocious. Oh, uh, boy. All abilities and adapts. Yeah. The zoo is becoming very well-fed, so we're going to put that into the active zone. And then, you know what? They're, they're so inspired with their trip to the zoo that Harmony is also going to adapt. <laughs> oh, boy. Become a five. Eight. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> into the active zone. That is the most swole hippie I have ever seen. She's just super pumped to be at the zoo. She so made friends with next every animal, board, more seems. powder is headed, so we've got to get Bro, these points in while we can. So, well, I could abandon to draw something. Might as well try. Might as well try. We'll abandon, draw one. It wasn't. Okay. So then, yeah, we'll end our turn, and Lorene will see all these swole things at the zoo and be totally impressed, and uh, I'll gain nine points. That is so crazy. What a turn. Oh. Amazing. Amazing, right. yeah. Well, I've exposed that combo, Swoosh. so let's see. I'll shut it down. Pass turn. Okay. <laughs> I actually don't know what I can do about that. I mean, I can score four points. <laughs> I'll take a free draw. It's a 5-8. Okay, I have quite a lot to do this turn. Oh, so man. Bear with me. Woo! All right, don't forget your this thing as well. Yeah, uh, I'll put a counter on this. First, I will play for three gold, a thief in the night. 
Um, then I'm going to spend two to play my champion, mm-hmm. Bailey. That's my second thing played this turn. Mm-hmm. And then I will use one remaining gold to play a greedy merchant, which nice. all adds up oh. to three different things. I'm going to use my Thief in the Night's inspiration right here to take this chromatic ring. Very nice. <gasps> all right, I will give it over to you, Ken. Amazing. Uh... Then I'm going to use my bomb research to blow up the chromatic ring. Oh! <laughs> oh! Taking other people's stuff and junking them. No. Oh. The zoo. It brings that brings a tear to my eye. That was beautiful. Yeah, I will go up four points. So so good. Uh huh. I'm going to uh, <laughs> abandon my Kalnea since you mm-hmm. know it doesn't really need to be there. I'll draw. Uh, and I'll pass sure. my turn. Okay, so my turn. Uh, I have seven gold, so let's give up right now. Three gold. Sounded like you were conceding. <laughs> let's just give up right and now. And activate one of my research vessels, draw a card. So I will draw a card. All right, you haven't used your free draw will, yet, by the way, George. I haven't used my free draw, and now I'm going to use my free draw. I abandoned Kalnea to draw a card. That's great. That's a good card. I play Grand Fish Market. I love Grand Fish Market. <laughs> yeah, because it gives you a free draw card. And I activate it to get another card. Was that four cards so far drawn in a turn? Yep, no big deal. Yeah, and NBD, <laughs> NBD. NBD, yeah, NBD. All right, well, I guess we're going to have to turn Lorene to become ferocious. Amazing. Okay, <laughs> that's, I understand. <laughs> I mean, she's gonna become swinger. huge, but at least Nick doesn't just win right out. Right? <laughs> oh yeah, how does become ferocious work on Eek. opposing Den- uh, it, it, players? It, yeah, it looks for the the greatest power among denizens controlled by that player, so it'll look at your stuff. Okay, so Lorene will become chose his even board. swoller than Harmony. Uh, so adaptation is based on the the controller of the, right. that it's being used on. Gotcha. That's right. Yeah, the denizen. She got so thrilled at the zoo, she just forgot it herself. I activate this to go up to four. And uh, which allows me to play efficient workflow. I use my yeah. Gray Wolf to do three damage to Mufari's quarry on Nick's side of the field, and I use Mufari, who is a ranged character, which mm-hmm. means he doesn't receive damage when he does it uh, towards him, and that eliminates him. Unfortunately, that makes that nets me Only two loss points. of points because yeah. of Preacher of Love, but I do net myself uh, three points. Three points. Yeah. And this is gone now. I think that's everything, and I pass my turn. Wonderful. Oh. All right, I get my goal for turn, get my phase counters, and uh, Training Dummy has made it one turn cycle. I will score four points at the beginning of my turn. Oh, thank goodness. How embarrassing would that be if I ended this with zero points, guys? <laughs> um, all right, free draw. I guess I'll play, yeah, whatever. Ask for donations. I just need to get cards out of my hand. Play another Hidden Waterfall. And then now I will use my two history educations to draw two more cards, completing those campaigns. Okay, so I think I probably do want to play Le Guard Dogs. And Get another layer of protection. Yeah, just an added layer of protection. Man, okay, so I don't know, like if I try to protect, this guy can't be attacked, but then you've got the bomb research and other scary stuff. What do you I... mean? That's not scary. <laughs> I think the right play is just to keep trying to protect items, so. Horde. Yeah, strange as this. I'm just gonna play a immediately use. Yes. <laughs> no, I'll play a schedule book, and then I'll I'll go ahead and put the Nile abilities on the schedule book, and then immediately I don't throw that away. A, yeah, so. like I don't I don't think this is a good time to to try to protect denizens. It's just too scary out there. Um, all right, and yeah. then for my last gold, I will play this card, Item Ooh. Care, mm. to revamp my items. Nice. If we even get to my turn, we'll see. Um. <laughs> Let's let's get some abandoning going on here. Uh, I can definitely part with this. Um, <laughs> this is crazy, but yeah, I pass. The man, the mental stack is too high. <laughs> I, I, I don't I don't know what to do. It's, it's a rough it's one. A yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. Right. This one's Starting definitely becoming mental. Stack. Like the like the Go animals ahead. are breaking out of the zoo at this point. I don't I don't I don't feel safe to be on the streets. <laughs> All right, we'll gain seven gold for the start of the turn. Start with a free draw. There's no points in my hand, so let's abandon a location. We came to the zoo. We have to visit the tigers. Uh, oh! oh, boy. Oh. 
He I just abandoned Caldea. purple. Wouldn't you know it? <laughs> this is so gold. cool. All right, six gold for this the This was tiger. originally going to be a Lorene deck. Then I was like, let's just let's just switch it up. Oh, okay. Anyway. That's so interesting. Uh, Alvin has definitely learned has played the best card to slow things down. I mean, <laughs> Nick almost just doesn't care, right? Like he's leading in points. Like every time you guys try to true, score points, true. you're going to be losing you, points. Like Nick almost just yeah, doesn't care, right? The, like he's going to draw into yeah. another unique denizen and continue his <laughs> point game. Like these things are never going anywhere ever. <laughs> Who's to say? The game state is so complicated at this point. I actually don't even know what Nick should do. I know it was in my deck to get me out of this, and it's not losing two points. So I'm going to pass to Kim. Uh, it doesn't. Oh yeah, Lorraine doesn't proc. She's okay. That's right. Yeah, she's she's a gigantic vanilla. Had to she's stop. She's mesmerized the by the drafts. Yeah. We're not there yet. <laughs> she's like riding on top of an elephant that's on top of a giraffe. That's that's how I picture the justification for her power and health. She's amazing. Looking. Uh, I'll start my turn. I will uh, gain my gold. I will put a phase counter on bomb research. Take my free draw. Uh, and then I'm going to play Familiar Road. So yeah, I'm just going to abandon it immediately. It is aligned to nothing. Um, <laughs> then I will draw my abandoned card. Okay. I'm going to play uh, for three. Assert Dominance. Oh. Then I'm going to play for three. <laughs> assert Dominance. <laughs> Then, uh, for one, I will play a Black Mora Powder. Oh! Beautiful. Okay, yeah. I'm going to use Bomb Research on Black Mora Powder. Nice. Wow! Uh, and, Third yeah, with that, I end my turn. All right. Activating efficient workflow. So you have a discount for the turn. I will use my free draw now. I will abandon the Hidden Thicket okay. so that I may draw again. I play the Death Striker for two gold. That's exactly what you needed to to stay ahead here. And I'm going to attach it to Mufari to give Mufari plus one one becomes a four four and modify amplify two ranged. AKA he can now one shot Mufari's quarry. I also play Crowded Farmstead. I play my other efficient workflow. Wow. For Three gold. Was one not enough for you, George? Did you really need two No, of them? absolutely, absolutely not. And I use one more gold to create another Mufari's token. Nice. On Nick's side of the field. I take Mufari, Death Strike Amplify 2, and I strike down Mufari's quarry. Very it's nice. Insane. So you score five points, Which, but lose one point, netting yourself four in, in total. Get four points. Play Chromatic Ring. I love and I love a little trinket sitting on the field. It's so it's so fun. I love it. It's beautiful. <laughs> Just to be uh, fair, was that was that a deal? I, I can't remember. Was there like a deal or something? Where that you wasn't a deal. We, this is a friendly game, so Kim gets as well, and we play pass. All right. So I mean, you, it's a political play, I guess. You're you're gonna give Kim the ability to steal it and smash it. All right. Um, okay. So get eight gold. Get phase counters. And these two items have made it a turn, so I will go up to 12 points, uh, resolving both of those triggered abilities. Okay, free draw. Play a location. Activate it. Look at it. Uh, I'm going to put this on the bottom of the deck, and then now I'm going to abandon the wild path that I just played to draw that card, or to draw a card. Oh, this is crazy. All right, so assuming Nick top decks a Grindon, he will have enough goal to play to pay alignment tax and take it like i basically have to I just hope me. you don't get it um all right so i activate ask for donations we've got one gold okay so i think one of the things i need to do is play a steve scholar to draw myself two more cards it doesn't really help so i my my literal only out is to play as if somehow none of you guys win and somehow some of my stuff lives that's the only way to play here so i'm gonna play There's a lot yeah, that's a lot to expect. So I'm gonna play this card here, the marked map. Oh, jeez. And then I'm gonna activate Fetch. Nile, putting the Nile abilities on the marked map. And then the next thing I can do is I can play another Preacher of Love. So there's <laughs> one more additional disincentive to attack. But then it's really all of this that's that's the worst. Um, but anyways, I can activate Item Care 
to buff them up a little bit more at least. So I'm going to have each of these three items revamp. So that will net me one health each of them. I, I don't know if this is the optimal play, but I'm going to set up for the next turn by playing remove distractions. So if by some miracle it makes it back to my turn, I have more options to potentially set up. Go ahead and pass my turn. Go ahead, Nick. Show me what you got. All right. We will redraw first. Grindon? No. Okay. Fortunately, but we got one more draw. What what else will we do but uh, visit the the sweetest exhibit at the zoo, the harmless kitten. Oh, oh look oh. at him. Take one more draw after we abandon this uh, statue of the fierce hunter. Uh huh. And uh, top deck was a statue of the fierce hunter. Oh. We we'll play it. One. We will use its arrival. I don't know. Why don't the tigers get just a bit more tough? Why not? Huh? Yeah. Why not? Why not? All right. Well, maybe you all Bears? take care of Alvin's inevitable <laughs> win. I can be the Nile. <laughs> so I play Nile. All right, so you do score two points off Harmony. Yes, so we'll go up two, and Nile gains a uh, health. Yeah. Use Nile's ability. Would you mind attacking the Preacher of Love? I would definitely mind that. <laughs> <laughs> I would mind it very much. And I think, uh, I think I have to try to give it to the... Okay, so Bomb Research takes out the cat. That's not a thing. We could put it on the biggest one, or we could put it on, like, the second biggest one. Oh, no, you had... Oh, boy. Who said bomb research was going to kill the cat? I guess the biggest Maybe one doesn't like matter, because I'm not attacking with them anyway. So, yeah. Bomb Lorraine research can't kill. has uh, forgotten who she was, but Nile will try to protect her in her confusion. <laughs> yeah. She's looking out for fellow yep. white champion. <laughs> Got all the white champions on the board. That's so cool. Yeah, oh, look true. at this. Every that's every true, white though. unique denizen is on board. This is so cool. And they kind of all work with each other a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Remaining two gold, uh, we will find another gray wolf in the enclosure. Wow. Just because why not spend the gold, you know? We will amazing. make no attacks because uh, it's too loving out here, and we will pass the turn. I will put phase counters on all of my campaigns, and then I will gain my gold for the turn up to eight. Then I will take my free draw, and then I'm going to use my hidden flower patch to effectively go up one more gold. What's and I'm like? going to do the math really yeah. quickly, because I don't know if this is a win, because oh, I might have a route. I might have a route. Hold uh -oh. on. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is so tough. Do it. Um, Nice. That's oh the my goodness! Oh my goodness! No, this is it! No, this is it! This oh, is it! This is it! This is it. I get to do final every turn? single thing that I want to do because final of my turn? top deck. I just realized. Okay. Final turn. Let's see it. Okay. I will pay three for a demoralize. Okay. Okay. Pay two for a termination notice. Okay. Wow. Pay two for a restless pyromaniac. Oh. Uh, then I will use my inspiration from Thief of the Night to take control of this chromatic ring. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, boy. And I, I love that I get to do all of this, uh, because this is exactly what my deck was made to do. Okay, okay. Uh, so I'm going to use my bomb researchers, uh, three damage on... Mm, let's do it on this guy. This guy over here. All right. Yeah, so this is going to... In inactive. And then I'm going to use assert dominances, this assert dominance, mm -hmm. uh, to give a Kazen plus mm -hmm. one, plus zero, uh, and deal damage to... Uh, uh, the preacher. Yep. Okay. And then I'm, I'm going to use uh, the other assert dominance to give I don't know my greedy merchant plus one plus zero and use that to blow up the termination notice. Wow, scoring yourself! Oh, this is so amazing. One, two, three, four points. Yep. And then I'll use one gold for restless pyromaniac. Yep. To do the same for my chromatic ring. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, gaining me another four points. Yep. I'm going to use my remaining denizens to uh, attack into some locations, including Grand Fish Market and this little ship thing right here. And <laughs> that uh, earns me four points. Oh, GG. Woo! Well played. Wow. What, what a turn. Yeah, I kind of figured with those, uh, with those campaigns out, like you could take out the two preachers, and then a Kazen attack was probably enough. 
Yeah. See, and this is what I'm saying, guys. Like, yo, Bailey. I had, like, no, but the thing is, I had so to have top decked the Restless Pyromaniac, or I couldn't right. have done the whole thing. Part of the cards. Because whoa, 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 it's whoa, over, whoa. Kaiba. My deck has no bad cards. Exactly, <laughs> right? It doesn't even matter what your next three draws were. I was, I was all game. I was like, I don't think I want to remove stuff. I don't, and that's what my hand is full of. Yeah. But that was a 12 point turn, too. Can I point that out? That was a 12 point turn. Huge. Yeah, that's huge. That was huge. Wonderful. 12 point swing. Insane. This this yeah. thief in the night was an all star this game. I've been oh, I've, absolutely. I've this is an eight point thief in the night. Thief. If you yeah. think I've about it, I've never seen a thief in the night do stuff. My so mentality so behind thief of the night. There's all of these really really powerful items that people yep. might end up playing, but not immediately cracking. You know, for maybe political power or That's because right. it's a chromatic ring or this or that. Uh, and so my thought is, I play down. You know, a thief of the night. Two copies of my deck. Yep. Uh, and so I'll just leave it on the board, and in those situations, because my deck is also very cheap, so uh, turning on the inspiration is really easy. Yes. So in those situations where, you know, I can take someone's thing, that's really good for my Bailey because it's one less item that yeah. I have to use out of my own deck, one less resource from me. And you take it away from them, yeah. so... Yeah. Oh. Reusable, too. Plus, it could also just dissuade people from playing their items when they see yeah. it, and they're like, Which well, was. I know what's going to happen. Right. So yeah. it's like, but why didn't you? But why didn't you duty. not play your items, George? It's like because I'm not. Sure. If I have, if I'm playing in my gold, if I'm like, if if it's so, if you're watching viewer and you're someone like me who has to run out the gold, that thing is gonna be that pull. It's like, uh, can I be okay with saying that I didn't use one gold or two gold on this turn mm. just because I thought I was going to win and then lose, right? Yeah. One thing oh I will God. say about my deck, though, it's really, really soft to other denizens mm. and to attacking. So I really kind of glided off those preachers like the whole game. Oh, I, just, true. I was hoping yeah, no one attacked because, me. Yeah, see, that's see, because I don't have another win condition, I have to do something to try and disrupt the game. I have, I think, four win con cards in my deck. Uh, oh, yeah. Like uh, four unique uh, denizens. One. Four of them. Oh, you yeah, have Mauricio. Sense. That's interesting. Yeah, I, I do run Mauricio in this deck because that's very uh, interesting. It it also has to do with attacking, so I feel like you know might as well benefit off that while I can. Because what is it? Very one or because, two gold? Yeah, I mean you could blow up your own denizens to score points if you don't have items out. That's actually yeah. a very interesting combo there. And it's also really cheap, so it'll proc inspiration, which I run a couple of cards that utilize it. Yeah, that I'm was tired. a fantastic game for you, Kim. Uh, no shade on you, George. I think. It you know hindsight is twenty twenty as they say and yeah it it turned out to be the wrong play to play that ring but man there was so much stuff going on that game. <laughs> I'm not exactly an aggro deck but you know can be on the flip of a dime. All right that'll do it for today's episode. We hope you had as much fun watching as we did playing. Please join us again next week for more Champions of Meandir gameplay. Bye bye for now. I'm waving goodbye. <laughs>